Hello, Susan. There you go. Any sign of a secret task around the place? I don't know what you're on about. No. Nope. Or you're just making small talk. You never know with you. Recreate a well-known piece of art on these memo squares. You must draw on every memo square, but you may only look at one memo square at a time. Hmm. You have 20 minutes after which the memo squares will be arranged in a 10 by 10 square. Wow! <laughs> Best memo square art wins. Are these different colours? You haven't said your time starts now yet. I haven't, no. Right. Do you want me to get these pens before the time starts? Yeah. Could you go and get me a red, please? I've got to do every single one of these. Yeah, there's 100. It's a nightmare. 100. OK. You get the pens, get the pens. And then I'll say start. Well, when I come back? Yes. Right. Is that all right? Yes. <laughs> He's not happy. There's 100 there. It's not a lot of time per square. Best not to do money. <laughs> the medium does lend itself to cubism. Can I get these out of here before? No? Well, it seems like you can do anything before the task. You can never tell, can you, when you're laughing or sulky? <laughs> OK. My time starts now. I would like to agree with Julian and say that you're right. You can never tell whether you're laughy or sulky. Yeah, I just think it's worth getting on record sometimes. What an odd man you are. <laughs> <laughs> you see, best not to do Monet. Oh, no. Why? Because it's got lots of little dots on it, hasn't it? Lots yeah, of bits. I suppose. Especially as his eyesight was failing, of course, as well. Did he lose his ear? No, a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> one has an ear problem, one has an eye problem. Simple as that. That's uh, the way I remember them. Right. Mon eye. <laughs> <laughs> and Van, <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, it's a tough task. You have to do one memo square every 12 seconds. Greg? Yes? I would like to show you my montage. Sticky memo square. <laughs> Can I draw a little aid memoir of the entire thing? I would. How many? 10 by 10. Oh, that's wild. I might need more red. OK. Shall I tell you what it is I'm doing? It's Sunflowers by Van Gogh. Three. I'm approaching this painting as if I'm doing admin. I'm so glad I've got a tea. Oh, art is hard! How many have you done? You've got 16 minutes left. One. Am I meant to do all 100? Yeah. Am I allowed to have a cheery chat with you while I'm doing this? I'd love that. Do you like bird watching? Of course. Well, what was on that one? Just a little dot. Uh, how am I doing for time? I'm pretty good. Pretty good, 18 minutes. have got 15 minutes left. So I'm a bit behind, what you're saying. A little bit behind. That's cos I tried to engage you in a conversation. Never make that mistake again. I just can't picture this, but I'm hoping that the subconscious has taken over, cos I've told my brain, you're going to draw Van Gogh. Oh, there's so many left. There's so many left. Ah! Do you want to do some dots, Alex? Do you want to check that you're happy with my... It's very good. Thank you. Ah! I think I'm slowly getting it now. What's the rarest bird you've ever seen? I walked into a barn recently and there was a barn owl, and I really like that. Perhaps we could go together one day to look at barn owls. I'd very much like that, please. Three minutes Don't talk to me. OK. <sighs> I just remember what sunflowers look like. Oh, God. I'm drawing poppies. You're drawing poppies? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why isn't it decreasing? <sighs> this is one of the most exhausting things I've ever done. Why don't I just draw cock and balls? <laughs> oh, have you finished? Yeah. Truly, <laughs> that's the most content I've seen you this series, really. Yes, it was quite meditative. And you've arranged a date to go and look at owls with Alex. Well, <laughs> he did seem to thaw out a little bit. <laughs> a, lovely, a lovely 20 minutes. I was yes. involved in Julian's one. He employed me. Yes. Which I was grateful for. Lucy, you seem to have uh, another existential crisis during this. Yeah. You tried to paint subconsciously. 
people, that people do do that. It's don't worth they? saying at this point. Some of the people made a plan, except for Lucy, who just went for it. <laughs> so I was picturing in her mind as she did it. I thought that's what you wanted me to do. Yeah. <laughs> and halfway through, you had a sudden realisation that you just remembered what sunflowers looked like. Poppies doing fucking poppies. Right. There. So you're doing Van Gogh's poppies. I was getting Van Gogh and Van Gogh mixed up. Oh, yes. Well, they're very similar, Murph. <laughs> First up, get ready. Here is Sam's piece. <laughs> Look at that. Wow! wow. wow. The screen. It's amazing. That's really That's good. incredible. It's based on a very famous artwork. <laughs> <laughs> You've added something quite powerful as well to Munch's The Scream, because I don't think in his original that the eyes are mouths, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I also found his face too symmetrical. Yeah. We could, we could mess with that. Let's wonk that face up and stick a couple of mouths in his eyes. <laughs> it's a really tough task, and that was good. He immediately made a grid, you said, like a draftsman, and then he went for it, and you remembered there was a bridge in the painting, so there was good recall. That is a hell of an opener, Sam. It's going to take some beating. Different tactic. This is Susan's picture. <laughs> <laughs> do you know which artwork she's recreated? I do not. The art piece is called Red. By what's his name? Rothko. There we one go. Oh. Oh. I ran out of red. Did Rothko do uh, just one red block? Mm. And he actually, did. actually, probably his... did, didn't he? The chancer. <laughs> <laughs> and I would I'm say... not fooling anyone, Rothko. I'm dead. I know. <laughs> also, his single colour ones do have different shades of that colour within, so it's got elements of Rothko. There we go. It's a reasonably good idea, Susan. Thank you. Welcome. Well done. Want to see another? Yeah. Is it another chick or is it a dude? <laughs> <laughs> This is a hunk called Julian Clary. Oh, oh. Very good. Damien, Damien Hurst. It is yeah. a Damien Hurst really dots good. picture. Uh, it's very good. Through the other side of the art, I can see you two <laughs> handling an owl together. <laughs> <laughs> Should we see Sue Perkins now? Yes, I think I'd like to see Sue Perkins now. Oh, oh wow! Oh, wow! Oh. That's Bloody amazing. hell. These are disappointingly good. <laughs> Is that the big ML? It, it is, is the big ML, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Mona Lisa, very clearly, but why not pop E.T.'s hand? I know. <laughs> I've gone full oh, no. sausage fingers <laughs> there. Why not I? Spielberg? I think it's going to be hard to judge this, Greg. It bloody is going to yeah. be hard to judge. Especially because finally it's Sunflowers by Van Gogh Wan, reimagined <laughs> by Lucy Beaumont. Just picture the vase with the flowers spilling out of oh, it. Oh, God, I can <laughs> see them. And all... His use of colour's amazing. Oh, the golden glory. Oh, Here we vibrant. go. vibrant. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since some of Mona Lisa's hands have made an appearance. <laughs> Not to forget, quite a few chickens. <laughs> Has been dropped. It's a broken vase. Oh, really? Yeah. And I thought it was a mistake to use your subconscious when <laughs> I heard you say it. Never mind. Well, do you want to see all five and then? I do. The yeah, there? I do. Let's go. Here they are. Here's the five of them. Well, I think we can safely say that <laughs> Van Gogh Juan <laughs> probably has to get one point. Okay, one case. point to Lucy. But then there's a jump up to Julian and Susan, who I'll give joint points to. How many joint points? I'll give them three points each. Okay. And um, the other two, uh, incredible. The ambition's incredible. Mm. We knew what they were straight away, so they take five points each. Wow. So three each to Julian and Susan. <laughs> five to Sue and Sam! For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>